that channel to talk to Hamas and try and convince them to do the right thing, as I've been telling them, and to at least make a deal for the release of the women, the children, the elderly, and the sick. Initially, there was no response from them. There is a response now. It says... In, maybe. In myself and a, a, a Irish colleague who lives in Paris, who has very good connections in the Arab world, has been online with the Qatari special emissary in the foreign ministry there. We've been in touch with the Egyptians and the Turks as well. And my hope, my belief, I'll know later today, is that our back channel has maybe turned into an official channel. Mm. We're talking about a limited deal. There are about 43 women, Palestinian women prisoners and about 170 minors in Israeli prison. It could be possible to do an exchange for the women, children, elderly and sick for those prisoners. Um, one would have thought that by releasing the, the women and children, that would be some kind of goodwill measure. I know Hamas is not in the game of goodwill measures, but it might actually serve them politically. Why do you think they haven't done that yet? I don't know what their assessment is in terms of what would serve them politically. I, I think that when they did what they did, they thought they were going to be the heroes of the Arab world. And now maybe it's becoming clear to them that they've set the Palestinian cause back 75 years. Well, they have gotten used to 18 years of Israeli slogans that we're going to cut the head off of Hamas, and that's what Israel has been saying for 18 years after each round of rocket fire and Israeli retaliation. It's real now. It's not just a slogan. And Israel is intent and resolved to do it. I believe they will do it, which will end with the reoccupation of Gaza, but the complete removal of Hamas from its ability to govern and its ability to take any military action against Israel. You have to negotiate the release of Galit Shalit, one Israeli soldier for 1,027 Palestinian prisoners. What's the exchange rate now? I think the only possible deal is for the women, children, elderly and sick, for the Palestinian women and minors in Israeli prison, whatever the number of the women, children, right. elderly and sick are in exchange for those, and that's it. There will be no other negotiation. Some people have suggested that because Israel is planning an all-out assault from land, sea, and air against the Gaza Strip and has been bombing the place for the last week, that actually this time round, the hostages are just not a priority. Are they calculating that they're going to lose those lives? My, the hostages? my assessment is, not knowledge, my assessment is that the government, the military, and the majority of the people of Israel are willing to sacrifice, possible sacrifice, the hostages, if the job gets done, they're willing to, it's horrible to think about it, but they're willing to pay that extra price if the job gets done. It's very difficult to talk about the apportioning of blame after the extraordinary slaughter that took place on Saturday. But the conditions inside the Gaza Strip that allowed this kind of extremism to flourish, part of that down to Israel's oh, for sure. I think that behavior with, with the occupation. I, I, look, I, I, I was a person who's I've been negotiating with Hamas for 15 years, been talking to them, and I believe that we could have worked out a modus vivendi to live together. I tried to negotiate a ceasefire, a long term ceasefire in 2012, and, and in the last two years I've been working on it as well. And I believe that it was possible, but it's not possible when two and a half million people or how many people live there are living under siege. On the day on Sunday last week when I spoke to two Hamas people, they said, and they were riding high on their sense of victory, they said to me, it's over. We will no longer accept occupation. We've been suffering for 75 years. We've lost our dignity. And yet they're not what they said that. But they're causing to be set back because it, I don't think they understood the dimension of the terrorism that they did in Israel. The, the kind of litmus test of, the litmus test of any kind of you know, embers of optimism might be what happens to the hostages. So if you, right. were, if you were a betting man, do you think that those hostages will emerge alive from the rubble at I, the end of this? I think there's a chance that still, there's a, a window of opportunity to get the women, the children, the elderly, and the sick out. I'm not sure that the men, a lot of those young men were soldiers or, or were just finished being soldiers. And I don't think that Hamas will let them leave. They will rescue some. They will not succeed in rescuing others. Some of them will come. It would be a flicker of humanity. It would be. In this nightmare. It would be, and it would show that there is maybe some hope. Christian Baskin, thank you very much. Thank you.